<clears throat> Hello, I'm Enrico Bada, and um, I'm going to show you how to create borders and gutters for a comic book page using shape layers. Here I have a comic book template that I've laid out and I have a rough sketch layer uh, that I've set to a uh, transparent blue color so I can draw on top of it. But before I get to my drawing stage, I want to determine where my borders are going to be and create them using shape layers. So what I have here is my borders folder and if I turn that on you'll see that I have shape layers created with three different layers. The first is my border, so my entire border around my page which uh, covers my crop and bleed area. I have a vertical gutter shape layer created and I have a horizontal gutter shape layer created. What I want to accomplish here is creating uh, borders that are completely done in paths and uh, shape layers. And this creates a few different benefits such as reducing file size because all of your information will be vector and you will not have uh, pixel color information so that will keep your file size down. You'll be able to modify your borders and uh, paths by clicking on the path points with the direct selection tool and I'll be able to endlessly modify them. I'll create a vector mask instantly so I'll create window panes uh, sort of to draw inside and it'll mask out all of my uh, unwanted artwork from my panels. <clears throat> I will uh, go ahead and demonstrate how to do that now. Uh, initially I'll create my borders group and create those three layers. I duplicate that in my template so I never have to do it again. I always open up my template and I have my borders folder here. So with my artwork I can see that I've laid out where I want all my panels to go. I'll start by choosing my horizontal shape layer. I'll choose that and I'll go over to the direct selection tool, the path selection tool. And if I hold down option, I'll be able to duplicate that. And if I hold down shift, it'll keep it uh, snapped in line. And I just want to do that and place these horizontal gutters where I want my panel borders to be. There. Now I'll go ahead and um, put in my vertical border, my, my vertical gutters. So I'll select my vertical gutter shape. I'll switch over to the direct selection tool click on it and here I can adjust the size of my gutter to fit exactly what I want. So I've highlighted the two pa the path points and I'm holding in shift to keep it in line. I can use my arrow keys to adjust and I want them to overlap each other. Switching back to the path selection tool I can then copy this gutter by holding option and dragging and again, I do this for as many vertical gutters as I'm going to need for this page. I then switch back over to my direct selection tool and I can tweak the size of these should I need to. But I just want to make sure they overlap, which they all do. I then want to adjust them by selecting them and just putting them where they need to go according to my layout. Okay. What I've successfully done is created a border, 
horizontal and vertical gutters to mask out my page. This one I notice is not um, overlapping, so I want to grab my direct selection tool, make sure I'm on that layer. Make sure it overlaps. Okay. Go back to my path selection tool. And what I want to do now is combine these shape layers into one path layer. So what I want to do is have my direct selection tool, make sure I'm on the layer that I desire and I'll just go ahead and highlight you want to make sure you're on the section of the layer that contains the path information I want to go ahead and make sure they're all selected I want to do command C to copy that and then command X to delete it <clears throat> oh, I'm going to undo that I want to make sure I am on the path selection tool so I can copy everything and then command X and it'll ask me if I want to clear the vector mask and I want to delete this entire layer because I no longer need it. I want to go back to my border shape layer make sure I have the path information selected and then do a command V. This pastes my shape layers into this particular path. I want to do the same thing for my vertical borders. So direct selection tool, highlight everything, make sure I'm on the path selection tool. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to delete the layer. I'm going to select this path right here, this path layer. Okay, make sure I'm on path selection tool. Command V to paste it. And now I've put everything, all of my shape layers, I've combined into one layer. What I want to do now is combine all of these uh, path points. That way it's one continuous path. And to do that, all I have to do is make sure again that I'm on the path selection tool and hit the combine button. Now you can see all the little path points went away. So that means that all of this information is now one continuous path. What this does is creates this border and these little uh, panel frames that I can now draw into. So if I were to switch to my brush tool and click on a new layer and I draw, you can see that it just draws underneath of, of that layer. So I can now draw and it'll mask out uh, each individual panel to keep it contained within the gutters and borders. Let me get rid of that. <clears throat> so now I have this path information. If I want to modify my borders and all, at all, I can do that by clicking on my path section of this layer. I can click on the direct selection tool. I can highlight my path points and you'll see they all come up. I can select which ones I want to modify and then I can drag it holding down shift will snap it into place so I can create and modify this existing path to create dynamic shapes while retaining vector path information and that's really important because it keeps like I said it keeps the file size down it'll uh, enable you to print 
at any size, resize this, you will not lose any information like you might with pixel information. If you resize pixel information, sometimes it can become soft. So you'll notice your edges look soft or whatever. Also, if you have a flat layer that you're using for borders, you don't have this option to click and modify your panels if you so choose. Uh, I use a, a black border for this particular comic to create a, a certain mood. I want it to be kind of dark and moody. But if I wanted a more traditional look, it's actually very easy to accomplish by just clicking on your layer. You go to layer, layer style, apply a stroke, and say I want a four point, eh, I'll go up to about an eight or nine point stroke, hit OK. And I can change now my border color to uh, white, if I wanted to knock it out to white. And you can see what I've done now is I've now outlined all of my panel borders and gutters with a real nice crisp black line. And that crisp black line will retain its sharpness at whatever resolution you wish to resize it or print it. And I get really nice pointed edges. I don't have to worry about it being rounded or uh, anything like that, like if I was creating it by stroking a, a box uh, or a selection that I had created and used the brush tool. Um, you know, you can avoid that also if you use a square brush. But see, I don't have to do any of that because I can just change it. So This offers me endless possibilities to change my border color if I feel like it. And I can even add uh, different swatches, choose different color libraries, and I can even add patterns to this uh, swatch if I want to. I think this is superior to other methods that I've seen for creating panel borders simply because it um, it is vector information you can't endlessly tweak it and it creates a nice little mask that you can draw under and never have to worry about any art overlapping or having to trim it or cut it out or anything like that also I can save this particular configuration and reuse it by simply highlighting my borders group folder, going to layer, duplicate group, and if I have other documents open, I just choose the document that I want to copy it into. In this case, I'm, ch I'm creating a new file. And there you go. I have my vector mask created. It's all paths. And I have my nice little panel layout that I can just draw right into, uh, into this page on a new layer. Like so. So I hope you enjoyed this method, and uh, I hope you utilize it and uh, have fun making comics, because it's uh, pretty awesome. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.